To help us compare true positives with false negatives, we are going to imagine that a person has some kind of condition and is going to the clinic to receive appropriate testing. In this scenario, our patient is a 30-year-old man who has epigastric pain. He is otherwise healthy and has a good appetite. He does not take any painkillers nor any other medications. After a complete history and physical, his doctor decides that it would be appropriate to test for a helicobacter pylori infection. Although it has not yet been determined, this patient does in fact have the condition, and so the results of the initial testing may influence his doctor's decision in regards to therapy. Unfortunately, because no test has perfect sensitivity, not everyone with the condition will test positive for it. On the left, the patient tested positive, and because he has the condition, the test is referred to as a true positive. And on the right, the patient tested negative, and because he actually does have the condition, the test is referred to as a false negative. On a 2x2 two two sample table, a true positive is shown as the combination of condition present test positive, and is represented by the letter A. And the false negative is shown as the combination of condition present test negative, and is represented by the letter C. Both true positive and false negative tests imply that the condition is present, but with true positives the condition is detected, whereas with false negatives the condition is missed. Because no test has perfect sensitivity, it is inevitable that some patients with a condition will falsely test negative and the etiology will go undetected. And as is the case with our patients, although he has a helicobacter pylori infection, it will remain unbeknownst to his physician unless the test returns positive.